Hi guys, in this video I will show you a library that we can use in our Android project to build tables in a faster way. We don't need to create text view, table rows, just we need to pass to this library or headers or array of headers and the array of data. And this library will build our table without us. Just we need to provide that data, the headers and the array of data, and nothing more. It's very easy. Also, this library has on click events to select one row. We can press long click and this will disappear. Um, we can set a default background color for the headers and change this border of the headers. Very easy guys. I will show you this library uh, how we can use it. Let's go. This is the repository of this library. I am the author of this library. The current version is 1.0. The name is Fast Table Layout. This is uh, a library hosted in Geekpad.io. To include this library in our project, we need to add this repository, this Maven repository. Go to Gradle Settings and add this, please. Go to Gradle Settings and add here the Maven repository. Set this Maven URL here as I, I, I did it. You can see here. Then add in your Gradle or your app application this library. This is the implementation. You can copy this from the GitHub repository of this library. Copy this and paste here and sync your Gradle. This will download the library. Sorry, there is a problem. I need to execute as administrator my Android Studio because the problem. Sorry for that problem, guys. I will execute this as administration and the problem of the Gradle will disappear. Now I'm going to sync my Gradle again and the problem will disappear. Okay guys, that's it. The library has been downloaded and now the project is ready to go ahead. Okay guys, the first step is add in your layout. In this case, I only have one activity and therefore I have one XML layout. XML layout. And here I have added one table layout. And I set one ID. This ID is my table layout. And that's it. Um, then we need to build this. We need to create one variable with the reference of table layout, fast table layout. Val fast table equals to fast table layout. This requires a context or table layout I using view binding view binding I will pass my table layout then we need to provide two parameters more we need to pass headers and the data and then we do fast table build and that's it we need to create these two arrays in the documentation of this library. There are two arrays these our labels. Copy this, headers and data. And here, here we have two arrays. We have the headers 
the ID with three columns, ID name, uh, age, age, sorry, and the array of data. This is one array of arrays. You can see here that we can pass one array and then another array, and this will be one array of arrays. And that's it. And now we are going to compile and upload the application to the Android phone. Then we are going to set another attribute. We are going to use this attribute to change the header color, background, and text size. And we can use two, mo two methods to change the, to set a constant background to the headers, or use another method to set a custom header to the borders, to the, to the headers, set a custom border to the headers. Sorry. Um, and here, there is another way to create one array of data. This way will be will be useful when you have a list and you need to fill one array from data of the list. You need to iterate in a full loop or just iterate your array and, uh, and add items to your array of this way. Okay, the application has been successfully installed. I will open my visor. You can see here, guys, that this is the application. This is a default table, okay, guys? This is the default styles, this is the default. You can do click on click event and undo using long on long click. And here's the table. I will use the second wave to create one array of data. I will set this array here and you will see that there is no problems. Now I only have two two items. I I will compile again and the app will be launched again. But now we are going to have rows. You can see that there is no problems. You can you can use this method to fill this, this array from a list. For example, you, you have a list, my list for each, for example, and you only add of this way. Like I say, yeah, for for H index, and you have index and item. Now you will only create a rise of this way data index array, for example, no item name, item age of this way. And you can iterate your list and uh, fill this array. In case of that you want to fill this array from a database. Okay, guys, that's it. Now I'm going to use, we are going to use the attributes. The first attribute is to set a default header, header border. I'm going to set this fast table, set the foul header border, the foul value is false. You pass through to set a default header border. I'm going to wait a moment. And now we have the table with a default border. You can see here. Now we can change we can use also a default background color for the borders according to documentation. You can set this constant, this attribute. The default value is false and the default value is gray. The default color value is gray. We are going to launch again.
and here we have our table with a header background color of gray. You can see guys that it, this is very easy of with this table layout. We don't need to create table rows, text views from scratch. We only need to provide two arrays of headers and data. Now we are going to use a custom header border. For to do that, we need to call this method set custom border to headers, and this requires a drawable. Drawable. I will use error drawable punto my table border. This table border is a shape drawable. It's a rectangle shape with a border of color red, red, red. This is red color. Basically, it's one shape. I will use this in case that I need to pass a custom border to my table. And you can see now that we have now a different border color. Basically, it is a rectangle shape. Now we can change. We can also pass a custom background color for the border, for the table row, of the field row, of the headers. Set custom, call this method, set custom background to headers. You pass a color, for example, this color. This is a default color from Android. Colors and now we are going to, we are going to have a, a custom background to the headers for the headers. You can see guys that now we have a custom background color for the headers. You can provide any color that you want. Don't worry, you can change it. You can change also the text size. I will set I will use the default border and the default background color for the board for the board for the headers. And now we are going to change the text size. This is attribute to change the text size. The default value is 14. We if we need to change this, just call your variable and call this attribute table text size, for example, and change now to 25F I'm going to compile this project again Now the text size for the table will be more more higher You can see guys Now we have a big text size If you want to change it, just call this this attribute and set a value. Always put a F letter at the end of the number. Don't forget that. Okay, guys, I hope that this tutorial was useful for you and I hope that you have learned something new. Um, I have presented you a library to create a, in a faster way a table. You just need to add this repository and do, and then add this implementation in your Gradle file. Then create a table layout in your in your layout XML layout, and then just in your My Activity, you you only need to provide two arrays, one array of headers and one array of data for the rows, and then you call this class fast table layout. Create a variable and pass the context, the context, pass your layout widget and the headers and the, and the data. Then call the method build to build this table. And that's it, guys. If you have, if you need to contribute to this project, you can add a pull request and no problem. This project is has been developed using Kotlin languages. The current version is 1.0. I hope 
I, ha I hope it's, uh, create new versions and improve this project. But if you want to create a faster, a fast table without problems, use this library, guys. That's it. See you soon. Bye bye.